Hey! Woo! Okay, we can stop acting like all the other stupid YouTubers. <laughs> Alright, so, seriously. Timo offered us a sponsorship. I countered offered on their sponsorship. Most YouTubers, they usually got about $100 to $200 sponsorships. We counter offered asking for two $300 sponsorships, and they went for it. So our first sponsorship is a tool sponsorship for $300. Our second sponsorship, well, you're going to have to watch to see what the part two is because John's excited, I'm excited, and it was pretty cool. But on the other hand, we started Googling and looking up the other Timu sponsorships in the last month or so. And I hate to say it, especially Questionable Garage's Timu video recently. It sounds like somebody offered him a lollipop and he opened it up and started sucking on it and realized it had hair in it. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. And we're going to discuss it at the end of this video because. I'm not going to play Timu's game. You guys are going to see this video. Timu doesn't get any choice on it because they pulled some shady stuff on us, and I'm betting the other YouTubers had the same shady stuff pulled on them. But even though they pulled something shady, we made a bonus out of it and a positive out of it by $300 worth of stuff for John, <laughs> and he doesn't know what it is. Well, we almost had $300 worth of stuff. Well, anyways, it's free stuff. Okay. So John would have had $300 worth of stuff, except for the U.S. Postal Service decided that he didn't need one of the packages. <laughs> and they refused to own up to delivering it to the wrong address. So you ended up with $240 worth of stuff. Is that okay? What was the other $80? Yeah, we're not going to talk about it because most of it was me <laughs> stuff, actually. <laughs> but all the you stuff showed up, kind of. There is one thing for Van Hollen. I, I snuck in there. It was $15. Don't judge me. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about stuff for John. We've got a pile of Timu for John. This is for Van Hollen. We'll get it out of the way right now. There is a theme to all of this. Everything that is on here was all items that I could find on Amazon that they rebranded as their own Acapulco brand, put a sticker on it, and charged you an extra $5 or $20. Or in the case of this particular item, they charge you an extra $56 for the fact that they put their Acapulco <laughs> sticker on it when it's the same stupid thing that Timo sells. Same with this. Same with this, same with this, this, this. This is the only thing that actually was the same price on Amazon. We'll get to that in a sec. Anyways, so these are exactly the same seat set that I ordered off of Amazon. Exact same color, exact same everything. Amazon charged me $36 for these. They were $10 on Timu, and they even include a back seat cover with it. And they're sparkly. Inside. That's the inside <laughs> foam, you dummy. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> okay. This came out of it. Oh, random. Oh, it's a bunch of random clips. Okay. All right, so... Let's go with John thing number one. You can open it, just pull it right open, throw it out. No, you oh, look, I took there, out my it knife. Pops open. You don't need your knife. But I like my knife. You're obsessed with knives. <laughs> yep. Put it right out on the table so that they can see. Oh. So, so this is Timu's. Um, X and Y direction, access, vice, whatever thing. So it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be clamped down and then precision back and forth going this way and then precision back and forth going this way. And it's the exact same thing, same colors, same everything that Amazon sells, 
except for this one doesn't have a logo here that you got charged extra for because of Abu Dhabi markup. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right. Next item. Yes, I stole it. Too bad. <laughs> okay. Next item. Connectors. More connectors. Because we need to wire up your go-kart and we need to put the electrical system into it. And stop smirking at me. I know I burnt the starter out because I'm <laughs> stupid. I bought you a replacement. But here's the thing on these Timu stuff. These are, these are all kinds of speed connectors, all kinds of everything. And these are all of those soldering connectors where you just heat it up and it auto melts and everything. Same exact trays, same exact quantity, same exact everything. This one here, because somebody put a sticker right there, is $6 more on Amazon. And this kit here, because somebody put a sticker right here, is about $12 more on Amazon. So was that worth the savings? Definitely. Definitely. It's way much more better. Way much more better. There we go. That's uh, a good way to put it. Oh, it's your cost. All right, so... The one item that was exactly the same price on Amazon as it was on Timu. This is for yours, but I might steal it. Okay. Do you know what it is? Uh, Dump it right out. There we go. Send for the carburetor? Yep. It is your standard VM22 carburetor kit. It is round slide. It is one of those irritating pull up, pull down, whatever, choke carburetors. And, oops. oh, it's not missing the gasket for the end. It's right there. And I've looked at it multiple times, compared it to the one that's out on the Duramax mud mower. And it's exactly the same carburetor, matches up, all the same stuff. And still has the same exact cheap Chinesium flange that likes to break off when you end up hitting bumps. It is very pretty blue. Like it is blue. So can I point out the blue? The blue is not the same color as Amazon. Really? But the picture that Timu has posted is the same color as the Amazon blue. That is so strange. That is darker than the Amazon blue one, and that is darker than the Amazon blue one. So here's my theory. My theory is these are screw-ups from the nice, pretty, bright blue ones that they sell on Amazon. And I think that's why these are on Timu. Because they're the same exact carburetor. Here we go. We'll just hum chuck it in there. Because see this box? See the condition of this box? Every one of these Timu packages, including this vice showed up in nothing but a big overgrown baggie. It fits. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Oh, and hoses. All right, here. This one's for you because you like to drill out Hot Wheels cars and all kinds of other stuff. And I'm sick of you stealing my, my carburetor drilling vice. So show the camera. It's two vices in one. You got... No, no, that's so you can clamp it to the table. It's a micro vice that you clamp to the table. <laughs> two vices in one. Gee whiz. Man, now you sound like a bartender selling cigarettes and beer. Two vices in one. Okay, that's an old joke. Sorry. So, it's got the little squishy things. And the little squishy things go into the holes on top so that you can set them in there in order to pinch stuff. And there we go. That is officially for you so that you quit trying to go and steal mine and I can have my carburetor one back. So we'll put that over there because that's going over on your work area. All right. This one's actually technically kind of a us. Um, but John's getting into more metalworking. I actually don't have a pair of these. And so 
There. They're big whoops. Like, yep, they're, they're celebrities. big celebrities. <laughs> they're big lip celebrities. <laughs> it's the Cardassian of pliers. Oh god. Anyways. Um you always need pliers with the wide in order to be able to clamp down sheet metal while you're welding it in and stuff like that. We did notice that <laughs> Jesse actually pointed this out because they're not square. There's nothing square about these, <laughs> which they're going to be used with a flex core welder that's going to absolutely make them look like caca in the matter of a couple of jobs. But that is supposed to be a straight line. It's not a straight line. <laughs> All right. Advertising something and then sending something else, apparently... <laughs> Is a Timu specialty. <laughs> Those are supposed to be five inch. Five inch. That's not five inch. Unless you're Chinese and you measure the wrong direction. So they are five inches if you measure this direction. They're advertised as a five inch clamp. That was not what I expected. Okay. This is another one. This is this is one where like advertising is important and taking pictures is important. Cause this is a chronic issue we found with the entire Timu order. I ordered because they're all over my shop. I ordered step drill bits in a blue and black pouch. That is definitely a blue and a black pouch. The imagination you can. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll get the marker out. We'll go right at it. So I paid like eight bucks because it was supposed to come with a pouch because I was going to hum chuck it in the back of the van and stuff for when we go to races in order to have a quick set of drill bits that I don't care about. So it's going to get hum chucked in anyway, but that's not a blue and a black pouch. Talking to you, Timu, <laughs> you're going to take a picture selling a blue and a black pouch with your drill bits. It ought to be there. All right. They don't look half bad. I mean, they look fine. Yeah. But we'll find out later. All right. This, this is another, everybody on Amazon has an Abu Dhabi stickered version where they cover up this top section in order to put their sticker on it. And they sell these for an extra few bucks. So, John's been getting into wiring. He's been getting into monkeying around with wires and starting to learn how electrical works. So, this is a fast crimp set for being able to crimp in the bottom. We show the camera. And to wire strip right here with the adjuster on it in order to grip it tighter. So, you put your wire in. I mean, nope, sorry. You put your wire in this side. And then you go like that, and then you pull it, and it's supposed to auto strip. So there you go. It's greasy. It's what? It's greasy. Greasy? Yeah. Oh, you're right. It is. <laughs> it feels like somebody sprayed it with like cheap WD 40. Huh, cool. Okay, well, at least it's not going to rust. Okay, one more for John. Talking to you, Timo. If I click on a picture, and that picture shows 
a sliding cutoff thing that uses a grinder. I expect a sliding cutoff thing that uses a grinder. They bait and switched me, and they sent me the $10 cheaper version. So, John's not exactly comfortable with grinder grinder stuff. So this, we have a, what is that weird grinder name? Hika, Hikahiku, Hakahuku, Hikahaka. It's a name brand and I can't think of what it is. It's green and red. Anyways. Okay, so we have that grinder, and I don't particularly like it because the stupid switch on it sticks. And John is always getting into the point of starting to cut things, and he's getting more and more comfortable with a grinder type idea. So we're going to read the directions at some point, and this is going to bolt down right... No, this is going to bolt down right there. And then you're going to be able to go. And then you don't have to ask me, hey, dad, can you cut this? I can tell you, go in the shop and do it yourself. So honestly, I have wanted one of these for quite a while because what I've wanted to do is stick that grinder that I don't particularly care for into one and put one of those diamond um lifetime guarantee a thousand whatever cuts cutting blades onto it because then you'd never have to change the stupid thing you'd burn the motor out into the grinder before you'd ever have to change a blade um so that's what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna order up one of those in order to put on the grinder put this together and we'll see how that actually works out for us and then you don't have to come say, hey, dad. That spring is tight. Yeah, that spring is very tight. But remember, it's got to hold the weight of a grinder. Because ah. when a grinder sits on it, the grinder motor is all the way out here, giving it leverage. Mm -hmm. So, so oh. there's that. Scissors? They're not scissors. John's been getting into a bunch of little modeling things and holding little tiny things while he glues them and everything else. So I can't remember <laughs> what the correct term is for these and the packaging apparently doesn't care to tell me. So these are the things that you see like the doctors using in videos and stuff like that. I think these were like three bucks. And this is one thing that I will be reordering a group of these off of Timu because the price on Amazon for a decent set of these is about like $10. So for $3, I can order a bunch of these. I don't care if I destroy. But it's got these weird little clickies right there. If you've never used one of these, and I'm going to switch to this camera so that you and John can see. And if I go down with it and it goes click, click, like so, it won't come off. And these things are priceless when you're attempting to do wiring in the middle of nowhere. And the reason why I want these is because they pair up with these solder adapters. So that you can be able to hold something in the middle of nowhere, take a lighter to it, and solder it together. But this set is going to be John's set to start with. Oh. I'm getting spoiled today. Hi, John. You ready for the finale? Thank you. Okay. This is the last part. This is the finale. John's wanted one of these. I technically can't wait to steal it. Um... This is the reason why we saved the old drill press is because I already had one of these in my Amazon shopping cart. And when the Timu sponsorship showed up, I jumped on the idea of getting one of these for about $60 less because it has no Abu Dhabi import stickers. Nobody bought a hundred of these, shipped them to California, 
and then put stickers on them to charge extra. That literally is the theme of this entire Timu order. Hi, right, John. What do you think it is? No idea. Well, I'll give you one demonstration. It's heavy. <laughs> okay? All right, here we go. It's foam. They sent it all the way from China. It cost me 50 cents. <laughs> Never mind. That is a big giant X, XY cross hatch, whatever work table thing. I can't think of what the term is, and currently the comment section is telling me how stupid I am. Remind me what this thing is called. There's literally nothing here. They call it a mini compound bench handling device. So it's got the little pieces in order to... So it's got these weird looking um, triangle shaped pieces. And they're so that you can clamp things down to it in order to put it underneath the vise. And you've got the wedge pieces here, and we're gonna have to look up how to work with these. And then it's got the micro turns in order to be able to adjust. Can you show the camera there a little bit? So it's got the adjustments and everything. I have no idea if you tell if this is moving or yep, not. It's moving, you can see it moving. And then if you flip it over and show the camera, it's got solid mount points on the bottom of it. So right there, it's got solid mounts that are casted in. And the other thing is, is there were a lot of arguments about the Amazon one and whether it had slide bar adjustments in order to make it more slack or more tight or whatever. This has slide bar adjustments here and it has slide bar adjustments here, which is what it's supposed to have. The same as the WEN version does, the same as all the basic versions do. And there's no slop in it. It moves back and forth perfectly fine. I haven't found any issue with it, but we also haven't had it sitting there chattering away. So we're gonna have to buy some bits on it, but the thing that this is going to let us work on is being able to cut keyways into axles. And when we do the generator crankshaft conversions, we should be able to cut keyways into those also. So this will be in an upcoming video to see whether we can actually do that at some point on one of those generator crankshafts. That's pretty cool. I bet that's going to drill out a bunch of Hot Wheels, isn't it? Definitely. Definitely hot. Uh, is the same uh, people that, that did the vice in this the same thing? Well, you see, I don't know because nobody imported it and put a sticker on it in order to charge extra and then sell it on Amazon. None of them have a manufacturer or anything. They, they do have a logo. I think it's this one. Yep, this one here has a logo, and I'll see if I can hold it up. It says Allsome. Not awesome, Allsome. All right, so while John is checking out his stuff, let's talk about, let's talk about this sponsorship. And nobody likes the person that looks a gift horse in the mouth. But there is a big difference between getting offered a gift horse, signing up to get your gift horse, and then ending up with a choice out of what chihuahua you want. And that's the reason why I think a ton of the YouTuber Timu videos over the course of the last month or so sound like the whole lollipop that they found hair in. When Timu got a hold of me, I browsed Timu. I was going to buy a $200 toolbox. I was going to buy some wrenches to go in it. And I was going to get a pegboard assembly on the backside and everything else. John was going to get left out. I might be a bad dad and I might have thought about myself first. But... Then, 
I did think about John. And I thought about different projects we've been wanting to do. And so I picked out a $280 three access CNC machine. And I sent Timu the proposal to get a $300 CNC three access machine. Timu said, sure, we will give you that and we'll give you the second proposal also. Now, the second proposal came in with everything I expected and I got everything I expected. We'll do that in another video. But here's the reality of the $300 CNC sponsorship. This is not a CNC. What Timu does is they get you hooked on looking at the real Timu site. They offer you the sponsorship. They send you a QR code that you have to scan. And then you end up on a special Timu micro affiliate site. And on that micro affiliate site is practically no item above the cost of a hundred dollar bill. And practically every item is a small, easily shippable if they throw it into a big giant envelope item. Couldn't get the toolbox for 200 bucks. I couldn't get the pegboard assembly that we had talked about. I could not get um, whatever the other item was. I don't remember. But yeah, this was supposed to be it. Did you lose something already? <laughs> this was supposed to be a $300 three axis CNC. I got promised a horse. I ended up having to pick out of a group of chihuahuas. It's a pretty cool group of chihuahuas, but I guarantee that's the honesty of why it is almost all of the other Timu sponsorship videos do not sound as if they're very happy. They sound a little down in whatever, but I think John's happy. I think it worked out okay in the end. And we got a second team of sponsorship for $300 for a video that we're going to work on sometime next week when we feel like it. Anyways, guys, this kid's going to go ahead and play with all of this stuff and probably break it immediately for me to have to fix. I would not. You would too. What do you mean you would not? You literally are the king of breaking Chineseium sponsorships. I am so delicate and I use them and I'm nice in video and then you get a hold of them and you break them the moment the camera is not running. Don't even. Tell the camera goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. Goodbye. From the king of Chineseium and the son of breaker Chineseium.